So many people have this question about what can they tow safely with their half ton? And frequently you'll hear somebody or you'll read somebody says, well, it's all gonna be determined by your payload in a half ton and you're gonna run out of the payload before you run out of tow capacity. And to some degree they're accurate, but nobody really knows what that exactly means because your payload is simply a function of your gross vehicle weight rating. So today I'm gonna to give you a simple method for determining what you can really tow safely based on your vehicle, at least a method that works for me and helps me stay within what I believe are very safe parameters. Put four University of Georgia linemen in this truck and we're over payload and we can't hook anything else up to it. None of that really makes any sense to me. And since no manufacturers will tell us exactly how they calculate gross vehicle weight rating, I've got something, a better way using real numbers. So what matters is tongue weight. And what matters is your available tongue weight and that you're set up appropriately if you have a bumper pole between 10 to 15 percent and if you have a gooseneck pole between 15 and about 30 percent and let's go ahead and explain that and how that works out and comes together so <clears throat> when we want to use real numbers let's start with the vehicle i currently tow let's use my 23 foot airstream safari it uh, has a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,000 pounds now when i load that up with full water tanks i drive it through the cat scales and um, we weigh that. And then we also weigh the truck with everything in it that we're gonna be taking on our trip without that. Myself, my wife, all our gear. Now I can tell you for the truck unloaded, when we weigh that, we get in the front axle, we get uh, 3,760 pounds, 2,780 pounds in the rear for a total of 6540 with all our gear loaded into it. Pretty straightforward. Now, when we go ahead and we hook it up and then we add essentially what amounts to uh, 580 pounds of tongue weight. Now, how I determine that is I take my truck with the Airstream hooked up, with the hitch on it, with all the gear, I drive it through the same way, and what we get is uh, <clears throat> that we actually lower the front axle to 3480, actually lose a little bit, despite using weight distribution hitch, down to 3480, but we go up to 3640 in the rear. We total that out, that's 7120, that's 80 pounds shy, fully loaded of my 7200 pound gross vehicle weight rating. <clears throat> now, if I take the sum of those, so my gross vehicle weight at 6540 unloaded versus the 7120 loaded and hooked up to my travel trailer, then I come out with a 580 pounds of tongue weight plus the weight of the travel trailer, which is 4,900 pounds, and that's 5,480 total pounds of the travel trailer, which means my tongue is 10.6%. That's 580 divided by the 5480 to look at the heaviest one I tow across country or I have towed across country, the Lance uh, 2375. Uh, now that uh, vehicle has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,000 pounds. When it is loaded up with all the same gear, full water tank, my wife and I in it, so we have a front axle at that point in time of uh, 3,560. Um, and our rear axle, uh, we have uh, 3,760, so our overall increase is 780 pounds, or we've added 780 pounds of tongue weight. Now, it just so happens that my vehicle has a maximum tongue weight of 980 pounds, so we're still below on the tongue weight. And this is the key, people. This is how you tow safely. It's by measuring tongue weight. Tongue weight is the answer. Um, what you're doing with that trailer tongue, that determines the safety and how you're towing. So we actually end up a little bit over payload when you add those two numbers up. That total is 7320. I have a 7,200 uh, pound payload, so I'm 120 pounds over. Now I don't lose sleep over that because I'm gonna lose that, lose that 120 pounds while I'm driving. I'm gonna lose 30 plus gallons of gasoline while I'm driving and I'm gonna be a little bit below. To me, that's a marginal error. You can't tell me that you know that this truck's gonna fail 120 pounds overweight take our gross vehicle weight of 7320 and subtract it from our unloaded gross vehicle weight of 6540 um, you end up with 780 pounds of tongue weight and when we take <clears throat> that 780 and we add it to the trailer axle weight of 5820 that means our total trailer is 6600 pounds and when we take uh, 6,600 and we divide it by 780, that gives us 11.8%. I'm still well within that tongue rating with that setup. Now, here's where that gets really important. Let's, now here's where that gets a little bit more interesting. 
I have a Lance, or I had a Lance 1995. It's basically the exact same design as my Lance 2375. It's just the Lance 2375 extends further behind the axles of the trailer. So the Lance 1995 has weight that's a little bit more forward. And I actually kind of like that because it makes it a little bit more stable. I also like the fact that the Lance comes with these large forward storage compartments so that as you're adding weight to the vehicle with the things you're storing, it's putting more weight toward the front end of the trailer, which is putting more tongue weight onto to the tow vehicle, which is ultimately making this setup more stable and less likely to experience sway. Now, because of that, when I load that Lance 1995, despite it being the lightest of the three trailers that I've towed in the past year, it actually has the highest percentage of tongue weight, and it actually goes up to 12.4%. Now, what's the significance of that? Well, what I can tell you is that, so we say 10 to 15% is safe for towing. Well, we're going to add 1% if you've got a vehicle with some uh, forward uh, weight distribution because that forward weight distribution is going to impart more load onto the front of the trailer axle. Pretty straightforward, decreases sway, improves stability. Um, it, it's actually not a bad thing at all. So the first part of this rule is to recognize that you're going to be approximately 1% higher on tongue weight for any trailer that has the weight shifted forward. The second part of this rule is going to be to add a half percent for every 500 pounds you are over what would be considered the vehicle's curb weight. In my case of my truck, 5680, and let's see how that works out. Up to that number, I'm comfortable with 10%. Now, <clears throat> the other, so if I'm towing something that's 7,000 pounds, I, or above, I want to go up to 12%. If I'm towing something that's 8,000 pounds or above, I want to go up to 13%. Anything above uh, 5,000 pounds or more over, I want 15% because I want to increase the stability of this vehicle as I'm towing. And I want less chance for the uh, tail to wag the dog as I'm towing. So now what becomes the limiting factor is not our payload, but a real number, our maximum tongue weight. And in my truck, the maximum tongue weight is 980 pounds. But let's compare it to a hypothetical, such as the new uh, Fords or the new GMCs. And let's use the GMC because they do such a nice job on their sticker. And as so it turns out, if we look at the sticker from this uh, Chevy High Country here, what we can see is that this vehicle has a almost exact curb weight of my truck. It's about less than 30 pounds different. Um, it's at 5,700 and change, whereas mine is at 5,680. So they're very, very close in terms of their curb weight. Say, for example, that we want to tow 9,000 pounds loaded with it. And let's assume, since we know its uh, curb weight is roughly the same as mine, let's assume I'm going to put all the same gear in it. Well, I'm probably going to come out pretty close to that same 6540. And if <clears throat> I want to tow 9,000 pounds, I said, well, the we're, number we should use then is at least 13%, right? Because it's 6,000 pounds uh, for that gross vehicle weight rating, roughly. For every 1,000 pounds we go over, we want to add a percent. So now we're at 13 we're at 13%. At 13%, that means tongue weight of 1,170 pounds. Now, the maximum tongue weight on this is 1,300. Now, it's interesting how that works out because that 1,300 is exactly 10% of 13,000, and that's how those numbers get put together, but we should put a little bit more thought into it than that. So, at 13%, to make sure we have a stable vehicle because we've got such a big vehicle behind us at 9,000, tongue weight's 1,170. So let's say we load that up the exact same as mine, my wife and I in it, all our gear. We're going to come out to about the same gross vehicle weight, 6540. That includes things we've added like uh, our tonneau cover, our bed mat, our running boards, um, and uh, our sway bar. All those things added roughly going to come out to the same number. We'll use 6540. Now, at the 1170 tongue weight, if we go ahead and add that in, what we're looking at potentially in the front, if we distribute that, let's say we end up at 3560 in the front. Well, that's going to put us right at 4150 in the rear. We've maxed out our rear axle. When we add those two numbers together, it comes out to uh, 7710. And as it turns out, we're over our uh, remaining payload by 410 pounds over is still it's a bit more over than I would like to travel with long distance. Is it doable? Yeah, it's probably doable, but that's to tow a 9,000 pound travel trailer, assuming that it's pretty well balanced. But let's back that off. Let's say that we're gonna be, we're gonna be good about this. We're gonna remove everything from the truck. We're gonna put it inside the trailer and it's just gonna be myself and my wife basically and a few other belongings in there. So, 
So let's say we're going to dump approximately 300 pounds from, uh, 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 let's say 500 pounds. Let's say we're going to take 500 pounds out of that trailer or out of that tow vehicle as we're towing. I don't think we can do that. Maybe that's just me going by myself without my wife, but we're going to, we're going to take 500 pounds out of that. So it's going to be just me. So what's the best case scenario we can do with that 9,000 pound trailer at a 13% tongue weight, which is 1170 pounds, knowing that our maximum is, um, uh, 1300 pounds for our tongue weight. Well, what's going to happen is we're going to end up with a uh, total weight of uh, 7210 so now we're about 90 pounds under payload all right that's good and we're going to end up with a front axle that's roughly 3510 and a rear axle that's 3730 so now we're well within the axle ranges on both of them we're slightly under our payload that's about as much as we can do by myself. We could theoretically add my wife and you know, we'd be within that margin of error by you know, a few pounds uh, one way or the other. So maybe we can do two people that way and get away with it, but that's gonna be our max. So the max you're gonna be able to tow with that vehicle based on its tongue weight and safety is gonna be 1300 or is gonna be a tongue weight of about 1170. As you start going up from there, you need to add another percent. As you add another percent, it's gonna to be too much for the vehicle. So any half ton on the market currently, whether it's um, rated for 13,000 pounds or not, the best I could tell you I, you could get away with based on their tongue weight and the gross vehicle weight rating of the tow, or I'm sorry, the curb weight of the tow vehicle is right around 9,000 pounds. Now, the interesting thing is we note here on this uh, GMC label here is that they also have a maximum tongue weight. And some people may say tongue weight. Some people may say hitch weight. Some people may say pin weight. It's all the same thing. Generally, I refer to hitch weight for a uh, bumper pull and for something that's in the bed, I refer to that as pin weight, but these items are used interchangeably. And so for a gooseneck, which would be a, uh, you know, a, a gooseneck type trailer, which would go right in the bed for this GMC here, it's only at 1,242 pounds, but here's what happens with that. The total, the safe pin weight at that point is 15 to 30%. So at 15 to 30%, we're now looking at, there's no way we're getting up there. And we're looking at numbers down around six to 7,000 is our maximum towing at that level. And so you can see how these numbers change. But I think if you use this simple formula, okay, I'm going to take the curb weight of my vehicle up to the weight of my vehicle. I'm safe at 10%. And then if I have a forward weighted trailer, I know it's automatically going to add 1% to that. And if I have a, which is safer than a rear weighted trailer, and <clears throat> for every thousand pounds, I go over the vehicle's curb weight. So every time I hit a new, new uh, first whole number, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, assuming they weigh roughly six and the Ford only weighs roughly five, I'm going to add a percent. And what that's gonna tell you is that about 9,000 pounds is gonna be about as safe a number as you can get, even when you're dealing with max trailering packages.